everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using the window thin cuts along with some other products. This is the thin cut set and then I'm going to be using party banners and sending well wishes along with home sweet home. I'm going to use the tree um, stamp and thin cuts. I'm going to use wood grain papers, a variety of cardstock, and this background paper from the current mix in collection. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to trim my piece of mix in at four and a half inches, and I'm going to be cutting this with a die cut. So now let's get some stamping started. Okay, so I have a piece of avocado and I'm going to stamp tone on tone in avocado ink. I'm gonna do the um, tree and then the smaller tree. The stamp, it, it could, the smaller one could be a cloud, it could be a shrub, but I'm gonna make it into a smaller tree. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp the tree trunk and branches in toffee ink on toffee cardstock. I'm going to stamp two of those, and one I'm going to be um, trimming it down so it will fit that smaller one. So I have cut off um, my stamp. Um, for the longest time, I just I did some masking instead of cutting my stamps, but it's just it's easier, and you can assemble them back together on your block. So. I've cut off the end of that sentiment that says sending well wishes your way. And I'm stamping out just sending well wishes. And I realized when I stamped it the first time that my thin cut was a little too long. So I needed to restamp it so that I could fit that thin cut to cut it out. And then this is um, a floral image from that same sending well wishes stamp set. Okay. So I'm going to color this image in using some tri-blend markers. I've got coral and uh, dull green and um, kind of a burnt orange. And so I'm skipping ahead. I've colored everything in off screen. And now I'm going to do a whole bunch of uh, cutting using my Big Shot. So, this um, die is from Lawn Fawn. It's a stitched rectangle and it's exactly the size of an A2 card front. So it's four and a half by, excuse me, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I like to use it a lot because it's got that stitched um, border right around the edges and it's exactly the size that I need um, for my card base. So I've got that cut out for, the, for that uh, peach striped background and now I'm going to cut out the floral image with the coordinating thin cut. And then I'm going to cut out this banner. So this and other supplies, um, some of the older ones you'll find in the online only section of my um, online store. And um, the other, the stamps are from the current catalog, the January, February idea book. So with the exception of that um, stitched rectangle thin cut um, from Lawn Fawn, everything that I'm using today is currently available in my online store. So I'll make a list with links in the description below and you can go to the Earl in the upper uh, right corner of your screen to shop for these products. So I'm just cutting everything out using the uh, coordinating thin cuts. So I've got the tree trunk and branches and now I'll cut out the tree tops with these thin cuts and get those run through. Lots of um, parts for this card. So there's a lot of paper piecing 
kind of paper piecing going on here. So, okay, so this is the window and I'm gonna cut it out on the wood grain and then I'm doing the um, the top part. I don't know if it's a sash. I, I don't know what it's called. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the top and the bottom portion of the window, I'm going to cut them out using this wood grain paper and I'm just kind of moving my die around um, and looking at the design on the paper to see um, what I like before I run everything through and cut. Okay, so we're almost there. The last thing that I'm going to cut is I've got some craft foam and I'm going to cut that uh, window piece out using that die. It's a little tricky to get um, really skinny um, foam tape under there. So it's just easier, I think, to go ahead and just cut out a piece of craft foam using the same die so that you can pop that piece and get some dimension. Okay, so let's start building the card. I've got my A2 card base, and I'm just gonna put that background piece down using Tombow. Get that attached, and then we'll start building and paper piecing. Okay. So I have a piece of mint cardstock, and I'm going to use the light side of mint, and I'm going to cut this down so that it will fit behind that window frame. So it's about three and a quarter square. So I'll cut that down so it can sit behind the window and then I'll create my scene. So I'm just going to lay some things out and see what they look like. So I'm going to trim this other um, tree branch and tree trunk down so that it will fit that smaller um, tree top. So I've just trimmed off a couple of those branches and then I'll make it shorter in just a second. But before I start gluing things down, I want to lay things out and see what they look like first. So now I've made it shorter, so it kind of looks like it's further behind. Um, so now I, I decided I needed some grass uh, for my trees to be sitting on. So I've got um, this fancy border thin cut, and I'm going to cut this... Um, I'm going to use this thin cut on the light side of avocado and trim that out so that I can create kind of a, a hill for the trees to be sitting on. And then I'm going to lay everything out again. So as it turns out, I need a taller hill for my shorter tree. <laughs> so I'm switching the way they were on my card. And Switching things around, figuring out where everything should lay. It's a bit of fussing, but it's always good to plan things out first before you start adhering things. Much easier to move things around before you have adhesive down. So I've just laid that um, grass piece down um, using Tombow, and then I've trimmed off the excess off the edge. And then I'm going to assemble my trees. So I'm using the Aqua Tombow and just a few dots of glue. I'm assemble my trees and then I'll figure out for sure where I want them to go and then I'll glue them to the card front. All right, we're getting there. So I'm going to have that kind of. I'm going to slide it behind the larger tree in the foreground. Okay. All right. So I'm going to glue those down. Lots of checking and rechecking just to make sure things are looking okay while you still have a little time to shift things around with that wet glue. 
Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to glue my um, foam piece to my window frame and I'm going to use the white Tombow. This is, um, it's a stickier, thicker glue and it tends to work really well with the uh, craft foam. So that's why I've switched out to that other kind. Okay, so then we'll get that adhered to the window frame or to the uh, window scene. But before I do that, I'm going to continue to lay things out on my card front. And I wasn't sure if I was going to need to pop these um, pieces, the, the bottom of the window and the top of the window, but I decided I did need to do that. So I'm just using some of the scrap craft uh, foam. And I'm trimming that down to add to each of those pieces. I'm just going to place everything on my card front to see where they are. So this um, party banner piece, it's already scored. Um, so you just have to fold on the score lines to create your little banner. All right, I think we're getting there. And then I need another piece of craft foam to pop that top part of the window. All right, I think I'm liking the way that looks. Okay. So now I'll trim out another piece of craft foam to fit. And then I'll glue that down. All right, so I'm going to build from the top of my card down. We'll get my window scene. So there are several stamp sets in the core catalog that you can create stamped scenes for your um, window thin cut. And there are stamps that you can do scenes for all the seasons of the year. There's four different stamp sets. But I wanted to use these trees from Home Sweet Home, so. Okay, so now I'm going to attach that using Tombow. I'll kind of slide it under that top portion of the window, and then I'll add my bottom of the window. And that's kind of overlapping as well. And then I'll add the flowers. And then my sentiment. Clean and simple. So I'll have some still shots of the finished card at the end. And there's the finished card. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.